What is up and welcome back. So I figured we are going all out with this. We ain't going nowhere, but we're looking like we're about to. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We got another Scott Barnes palette and I am so excited. Now, this one is, you guys know, I'm always, always on the hunt for the best shimmer, the bow in your face, packs a punch. And I think I finally found it. So, if you're new, my name is Kaya. We do a little bit of everything over here. Hence the word, Kaya Simon's Life. Sorry, tongue twisted already. Got a little pumpkin spice here. This is a pumpkin cold brew. Some stores still have them and some don't. But this is kind of my go-to. It's got like the cold foam on top, the sweet cream. Okay. So, let's go ahead and get right into this. And we got some cool little earrings here. They kind of gradient down. I was like looking and I was like, well, this palette has a little bit of everything metallic. I didn't really have anything silver. And that's kind of where I should have went. But hey, we're twerking with what we got. So again, my name is Kaya. Hit the subscribe button. We do a little bit of everything. Hence the word Kaya Simon's Life. Tea, news, reacts, drama, hauls dog stuff if you hear weird, weird noise back there my dog is squeaking trying to get in and the little room that i film in is just so small and he always they get caught up in the tripod so if you hear that's what it is all right so let's go ahead and get into this guys this is non-sponsored but i do want to put this out here i've said this with the scott barnes brand check out the video if you haven't seen it about the limited edition music box collection palette it was such a go-getter. So I did get a couple things for Christmas from Scott Barnes. I got the music box and I got this. So grateful. These are a little bit, well, they are a luxury makeup brand. So guys, this is again on sponsored check for rewards. He's got a rewards program. You can get free things. Um, there's codes, codes for signing up, et cetera, et cetera. So do your research. I really like that he has things that he does sells and different packages and bundles and a code for signing up. So speaking of packaging, it came in this really nice little thing. And then it also as well came in this bubble wrap. So I really appreciate that. And he does have the option. It's like something proof. Whether it would get lost in shipping or stolen or whatever the case may be broken along the way, it kind of backs up your package. So I was doing the research. Like I said, I got these for Christmas, but I wanted to kind of go through and research and see what all there was. And I seen that along the way. Okay, so here we go. Nice little, guys, this is a great reusable container. Um, it's got a thing here to resip, and then it's got this in the back. ScottBarnesCosmetics.com all of his info. Don't mind the three nails. If you're new, I'm doing a wear test. Check out my video. It's called Death Valley Nails. Incredible nail company. So that's why, hence the three nails, how it goes, to chip proof, how many times, you know, washing my hands constantly. So that's what it is. So what I got on right quick, I said about the earrings and um, this is a cute little number. I got this. I don't know what I thought. I, I Things are kind of still wild in the world. So it just cinches up and then it's got a nice drawstring here. And it hits a little bit right on top the knee. Um, it's nice you can set down and not have to worry about your lady bits showing. So I really like it. And this came from Kohl's, again, non-sponsored. So it cinches down at the waist here. So I really like it. Um, I like it. It's got a nice inside to where it's not scratchy. These sequins are sewn on. Um, there was one that I wanted. It was exactly like this, but it was like a nice, like, aqua till. And, of course, they didn't have my size. And um, I had, like, a Cools Cash or Reward or something. So, I didn't want to bother with ordering it. So, I just kind of, I don't know. Anyways, let's get right to it. So, check out this packaging. Speaking of mesmerized. So this has, it's got a little me metal tag here and it says Scott Barnes Limited Edition. And then check this out. I know it's going to be really hard to see with the camera trying to catch with that reflective, but it flips into like a tiger or a panther or something. And then obviously a beautiful woman. So check that out. Look at the eye look. And then again, it flips into the tiger. 
pretty cool, huh? Or panther, not for sure what it is, but okay, you get the drift. Okay, so it's got mesmerized on the side here. Now, it's got everything on back here, all the info. My family did purchase this from the Scott Barnes website. So, guys, again, I want to make this clear. This is not sponsored, but be careful. You know there's different dupes, bootlegs. You have to really worry about. Again, this came from the Scott Barnes website, so this is original. But be careful with copy things out there. We have did a talk before of, you know, it might save you a couple bucks, but in the long run, who knows what's in it. And, you know, we've seen a lot of videos that the bootleg dupe makeup, you know, that somebody would make of this could be dangerous for you. So, okay, so here's the box again. Very beautiful eye look. Again, guys, again with what's going on in the world, sorry about the eyebrows. They're super wild. They need wax, but hey, it is what it is. Look at this. So it comes in like a little nice, um, like a silk little carrier. Now, what I would have done personally, this is only my opinion. Again, this has nothing to do with the actual product itself. We're just talking about the packaging here. I would have loved to said, you know, I know some people are collectors and I am. And I do appreciate this box. I'm not saying that. I would have rather this little metal thing have been on the palette and maybe the palette a little bit bigger. You could have still did some same size palettes. Or I mean, same size pans. But I would have rather this be on the palette and then scratch this little thing here. And just, you know, you could have saved the money for this. Just gave us this little thing and gave us this kind of flip floppy thing on the palette but it's all good it's really about the quality not the packaging but that's just my two cents i would have rather you know this spin the front of the palette and even this little metal thing on here so but i do like and again maybe i'm not a makeup you know artist i don't sell makeup so maybe you know hence that he was really trying to keep it safe in here and it is a great idea, don't get me wrong. But maybe he was trying to keep it from, you know, shipping and stuff. Really keeping it safe, secure in there. Okay, but this is on point, like I said. I mean, that is freaking awesome. And you guys, things like that are not cheap to do. Okay, let's get right into it. Okay, so here she is. This is the Mesmerize, again, by Scott Barnes. My bad, it's got the Scott Barnes here on the side, too, I meant to show you. So, if you guys don't know who Scott Barnes is, go back right quick. Check out my video about the Music Box palette, and that'll kind of get you more into who Scott Barnes is, background, etc., what he does, you know, all that. Okay, so I do like that it's got a nice magnetic, you know, great, keeps it shut, etc. Okay, I'm going to pull you guys up. Here we go. Get ready. This thing is something else. So it's got a beautiful mirror. Comes with your shades here and your perfect protective shield. So let's go ahead. We are going to need that to keep us in line. Okay. So, yes. So that was a panther on front. So what we have here is we've got panther over here. Black Lava here, Titanium, let me make sure I got this right, yeah, Titanium, Liquid Mercury, Molten Gold, Rose Quartz, Smoky Topaz, and Infinity. Look at these. Now, I will say that I did use this, obviously, on today's look, so that's why, you know, you see the finger marks not a smooth pan, but I have not used this one so you can see how fresh, you know, and nice the pan is. So, uh, I did use this as, okay, let's go through right quick of what I use. So, obviously, we went infinity up in the middle here. We went and used this panther here on the end is kind of to smoke it out, dot, 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 like a liner all the way up. And then just kind of use the music box as an up transition that other palette but if you don't have the music box it's all good you know just something um i kind of went all out i probably should have went like a lighter something you know to really let this shine but it's all good 
really wanted to go just play around with this because, man, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, let's get into some swatches and really, you know, show this thing for what it is. Man, you guys, I have been looking for something, as you guys know, if you, if you follow me, I love anything glitter. I love anything sparkly, blinged out, and, um, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into titanium, and then we'll just go the top row. So, my bad, guys. I'm still, this is new to me, so I'm still getting used to these shades. Okay, let's go titanium, and then we'll go shoop, and then we'll go shoop. So, titanium right here. Hard press, but soft and buttery. Look at that. Um, the way the light hits these is something else. I mean, look at that. The camera just doesn't do it justice. Okay, here we go. We're going to go up top here. And look at that. Look at the shift on that. And look at my finger still. <laughs> I'm like, wow. This is beautiful. So... As you can tell, I'm going to pull up here. It's not chunky glitter. In no means is it chunky. Are you seeing big bits of glitter? That is not what this is. It is a nice, finely milled, you know, you're not going to, it's not like a ColourPop glitter or something where it's big old chunky bits, you know, mixed with that gel. And, and nothing against, you know, ColourPop's glitter. It's just not that. It's, hence I've said this before and used this phrase, it's a more sophisticated glitter, if you will. Okay, let's hit the top here. We're going liquid mercury here in the middle. Liquid mercury is like a, I don't want to say gold. It's kind of, I don't know, you'll see. And again, you don't have to dig in like that. Look at that. Whoa. Um, wow. Wow. You don't have to dig in like that. When I do these swatches for you guys, I want to make sure that you can see. So, look at that. Man, is that not... Sorry about the middle finger, guys. Look at that. It looks like just complete metal. Wow, look at that. Hold on, I'll pull it down for you guys. So, we're on the second row right here. And <laughs> look at my finger still. I mean, wow. And they all... Look at my finger still. They all complement each other so well. They really do. Like, they... Look at that. I mean, you could fade that together if you wanted to do something. Okay, we're hitting the top row with the molten gold. I just stuck my hand right in it. Top row, molten gold. This is the palette of all palettes. If you're looking for a pack your punch, a pack punch sparkle blinged out. Okay, look at the finger. Wow, look at that. We're going right here down. Let's do a little bit more. Like I said, and you don't have to go in, dig in like I am. I just want to make sure that you know, they do show up, obviously, in one swipe, but I want to make sure that you guys... So, we're down here at the bottom. Look at that. Look at my finger still. <laughs> like, it is like a metal... Look at that. So, we're right here. This palette is amazing, seriously. I mean, it really is. A non-sponsored. This thing is... That thing, it was shining like my earrings. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so we are hitting the bottom row. We are hitting infinity right here. And usually I don't swatch, if you're new to my channel, I don't swatch every, but since this is, you know, an eight pan, you know, and it's based on, you know, beautiful metallics. Okay, this is, where are we at here? Okay, this is infinity. My bad, I got to talking and... Okay, boom, boom, boom. Um, I don't swatch every single, like, if it's a big palette, but, you know, I wanted to give you the full effect of, you know, this. And since there's only eight here that, 
Okay, on the bottom right here. I mean, they're just so soft and nice. And look at my finger still. Look at that. But like I said, if you're looking to find something like this, and again, I know Scott Barnes is a luxury brand. You know, I do get times are hard. And, you know, this is an expensive makeup item. But if this is something that you're looking for, again, not sponsored. I hate to keep saying that, but I'm not. I don't want to sound like I'm pushing anything on you. But save up your money. Look for codes. Join the rewards program. You know, this this is worth signing up for. Okay, Smoky Topaz here in the middle here. Um. This is worth the money versus going, you know, buying a $30, $40 palette and then being like, mm, it's cute, but it's full of chunky glitter. It kind of gives me like a teeny. And if that's your thing, no disrespect, honestly. I'm just getting older now and, you know, don't get me wrong. Y'all see, I still wear stuff like that, like my ColourPop, the Glitterly Obsessed. But, you know, I, I'm not going to wear that to a fancy dinner or something or you know what I mean like there's a time and a place for everything if I'm on here goofing off with you guys oh sorry if I'm on here goofing off with you guys and we're just cutting a rug or it's around the holidays yeah but if I'm going to you know a four or five star dinner I'm not gonna wear ColourPop literally obsessed okay look at that we're right here And then, oh, these are catching. Sorry. Okay, and last but not least on the metallics is Rose Quartz. Rose Quartz. And not a lot of, really not a lot of fallout at all, to be honest. They're very soft. I mean, look at that. Okay, down here. Wow, that packed a punch. Look at that. Look at my finger, still. Wow, that went on really smooth, that one. Right here on the end. And look at my finger, still. I don't know if the light is catching it. Goodness gracious. I mean, you see, they're just more than just shimmer. They have just this nice metallic look to them. Okay, let's do these two blacks, and I don't want to keep you forever. I know that some of my makeup videos can tend to get super long. Okay, we're hitting Panther. Panther is this kind of uh, black that I used on the bottom here and kind of pulled it out. So it's kind of... Now, that's what's good. I'm still kind of working new with blacks, so... These are good if you're like me, like, ooh, with, with them, once you go, you know, it's hard to turn around. I get kind of scared. I'm like, I'll do this whole intricate look, and then I want to have a little black, and I'm like, oh, I ruined it. So, these are great as a liner, as smoke out the bottom, if you're like me. Look at that. So, it's just not a typical black. It's got, like, a shift to it, kind of like, all right. Oh, we're running out of spot. Actually, let's stay down here. Here we go. Look at that. Boom. Smooth as can be. Look at that. And it's some of the others getting in it, just so you know that here is my hands, or does that have... Yeah, okay, it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's just, you know, me, but it, it's my hands are so... But, whoa, look at that. The way it catches, it's kind of like a gunmetal. Look at... That is the smoothest black I've honestly ever seen. Look at that, and I can keep going. Look at that. That's gorgeous. That is beautiful. I'm going to get a water wipe. I got a towel down here, but I'm going to get a water wipe for this black. That is the absolute, and I am being honest with you. You guys know I've got palettes from every company. Look at that. That is the smoothest black. Well, it's kind of like a gunmetal, like I said. Look at that. That is gorgeous. 
That is the smoothest black I have ever, ever, ever found in any brand. I'm going to be honest with you. I've got palettes from everybody. You guys know that. And get ready. I My makeup collection is coming up. I've been organizing. It's really coming. I know I keep saying that, but I'm for real this time. Like, I kind of was organizing some things and you know, going through things and kind of getting it together. I had little bits over here, little bits over here, and but it is coming for real. And um, I got another thing that's a makeup organizing item that is so awesome. So stay tuned for that. And if you're not into makeup and you're just over here checking out the scene, this thing I got coming up can be used for anything more than makeup. Okay, so let's go in with Black Lava right here now it looks just like a flat black but again i have not used that one i did the kind of stamp liner with this today um sorry about my nails are looking yellow i don't know why i didn't notice that until now look at that man that's nuts look at that there is no fallout i am not just trying to pump this up there is no fallout give me times i pick up a black and i'm like Look at that. <laughs> See, this is probably a black that I could get used to. I'm always worried with the black sometimes. They can be so chalky, so full out. Um, okay, let's go here. <laughs> wow, man, look at that. I've never seen a black like that. I really, truly haven't. Yeah, so that's just a typical black. If you see any sparkle, it's for me. Look at that. These are amazing, you guys. So here we go. So this is the full effect. Sorry, I'm not the greatest at swatches. I look like a tiger myself. Rare. I like this. I like it. I really do. Now, heads up again, non-sponsored. I know I keep saying that, but I don't want you know to think I'm trying to sell you something. This is limited edition. That's why I've been trying to pump these out for you guys and really, you know... I, I like to watch videos of people's stuff, but, you know, I'm like, oh, I want that. And it's like, oh, sorry, it was limited edition. You know, look at that. That gunmetal one is still really just holding strong. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it's like, oh, it's limited edition. Oh, so this is still available. That's why I wanted to pump this out for you. And again, if you're like me, you've been looking for something shimmer, but you're like, eh, it's cool, but... You know, a lot of the times, it's like you'll swatch things, and then when you put it on the eye, it's glitter, it's falling out anywhere. It's just kind of like a pigment that's just kind of like, eh. But this, to me, I, I feel like I'm finally like, okay. There's one more thing that I've had my eye on, and again, it's, it, it's a way different product than this, completely out of the realm. That I got one more thing I've had my eye on for a while, and I keep looking at it, but... um. It's not from Scott. It's, it's like I said, it's, it, you can't even compare it because it's two different completely things. But, um, so look at that easy. I, and again, this is just me with the water wipe sitting here in my little film in place. But I mean, it, it comes off nice. It's not staining all on me. So let me know what you guys think of this, man. I'm really intrigued by the Scott Barnes brand. Um, I really like this. I, I think, I mean, look at that. If I would have been digging into other palettes I got, like, psh, there would be tons of fallout. Look at that. I mean, this is beautiful. It truly is. Now, I smudged it a little bit around, but this is beautiful. This is just something that you could pack, again, in a perfect world. I know, you know, we're not really traveling right now, but pack your transition shade with this. Pack this, and if you're going somewhere nice on vacation, you got a family function coming up. You know, hey, Simon, Sugar Bear, they're starting to turn up, you guys. You can pack this and a transition shade, put this in your little makeup bag, and off you go. And this is just a glamorous to me look. Again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but the only criticism that I have with this, and again, I don't sell makeup. I'm not in the makeup industry, so maybe he did this for packaging purposes. I would have rathered this on the actual palette myself. 
I would have liked this little tag on here and this whole look. But maybe, again, that was too expensive to add it with the makeup. I don't know. And then, you know, but, and then I would have scratched this. But, again, I said I'm not in the makeup industry. So, maybe you see this fits in. Sorry, guys. Uh, this fits in there and it keeps it safe. So, maybe it was for, you know, transitioning purposes to get to you and it kept it nice safe and compact because when i got this for christmas i mean it was a mint condition so i love you guys if you're new hit the subscribe button like i said i mean we do a little bit of everything we got a bathroom body work semi-annual haul coming up you guys know we've been checking out foodie beauty hold on hey they took a nap, and now they've both ate dinner, so they're like, pew, pew, pew. If you're new to my channel, I got a French Bulldog and a Pitbull Bully Bulldog mix, and they are the best of buddies. They are compadres. But um, if you're new, like I said, we got a Bath and Body Works coming up. We got this, like, organizing thing. Again, it doesn't have to be for makeup if makeup isn't your jam. We got my Christmas haul. I'm running a bit behind. I keep showing things here and there, but I'm just going to do the psh, meat and potatoes, the random items. And then we just do a little bit of everything. We've been watching Foodie Beauty. She's kind of like a controversial YouTuber. Always got something crazy going on. Starting BS. Um, so check that out. So if, hey, sorry, you guys, they are turning up. All right, on that note, it's time for me to get out of here. Again, my name is Kaya. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Even if it's just emoji, it helps our little channel out. Have a great day, great night, and Kaya is out.